Well, happy sunshine, boys and girls. I'm back with some more updates from my internet acquaintance in Houston, Texas. I'm going to let this video from Weather Wars 101 play in the background. You can see that this is his latest video. Well, I don't even know if Weather Wars 101 is male or female. I say his, but I'm not quite sure. Um, it's just blatant stuff. Wow. Uh, it's really, it's really hard to not see what's going on after you watch this video. And again, while we're watching the video, I'm going to read some updates from Houston. Thanks, Danny. Checking in again. Things changed entirely overnight for the entire region. Massive, massive flooding. Now even in my secondary and third planned evac zones that I know have never flooded since being constructed in the early 1990s. The rain just won't quit and it isn't expected until Tuesday or Thursday. I could likely still get to some areas but I know no one personally who literally doesn't have water up to their doorstep and rising. I'm calm about it because I don't expect my home to flood despite this but if the rivers and banks keep surpassing the records as they are now, which are 10 feet plus easily past any record, then I just don't know what else to say. We'll keep in touch. And then another update. Very suspicious, very suspicious. This rain just isn't stopping. The multiple warnings are every half hour. I was in near waist deep water just in front of my home at midnight last night in heavy rain and wind helping a neighbor start up a car in the street that was dead. I jumped it and got it going which was a small miracle in itself as I was just planning on ramming it up to higher ground with my truck. We actually keep in pretty close contact with some neighbors and law enforcement I've known forever some of whom actually work directly with Department of Homeland Security. And those guys in particular who are fully trapped by, f by a foot or two of water are actually going to go ahead and put a ladder up to their roof. Not good, man. Hanging in there. I notice Trump is commenting on this quite a bit, so it's bound to be a spectacle. The path turned back again to go back all the way directly over Houston and just very slowly dump copious amounts of rain which if it does I'm not sure what is to come of the entire region. So before I read his last update I want to read the notes that Weather Wars 101 put to this particular video. It's always fascinating watching the Weather Channel meteorologist root for these storms. They were clearly disappointed that Harvey didn't hit Corpus Christi as it was expected or intended to. And the reason was obvious. Corpus Christi is a much bigger city Harvey would have done much more damage, and it would have been a much bigger story for them. The real story, of course, is how they can all look into the camera, lie to all of us about the entirely manufactured nature of this, and every hurricane, flash flood, tornado, or severe weather event in this country, while pretending the only thing they are really concerned about is people's safety. This, of course, is as duplicitous as it gets. If they actually cared about people of this country, they would be telling the people the truth about this entirely man-made storm that wouldn't exist at all otherwise. Instead of pretending they are, quote-unquote, protecting us, 
from what they are blatantly lying about and thus directly complicit in to begin with. Meanwhile, as Harvey has degraded into the usual lopsided monstrosity that these storms usually do, the massive in-place water vapor generation or rapid evaporation operation is underway. Overnight, up to six inches an hour dropped on Houston, and they are expecting to drop 30 more inches before the end of this event. What is glaringly obvious, however, for anyone who actually looks, is that these massive rapid evaporation bursts are coming from Houston itself. A couple of dozen power plants and refineries are the source of the water vapor that is dropping deluge on Houston and that will continue to do so. Everyone needs to pay close attention. There are still several days of this weather operation left and you won't get a better opportunity to watch the desperate and constant on land water vapor generation. There will be plenty of it and no weather excuse me and no weather channel meteorologist or anyone else can deny where it comes from. For those who want to track this reality for themselves and see the actual power plants and refineries involved, get the KMZ file below and study the reality for yourself. And the KMZ file is what he is uh, zooming to some of these locations that he's got marked on the map. The KMZ is a location of all these different rapid water vapor generation sites uh, throughout, I don't know if it's throughout the world or throughout the US, but it's, it's absolutely blatant to see what they're doing. And even the updates coming from Houston, uh, he, he's flabbergasted about how much rain is dropping and how a storm, a hurricane, can last this long over land. And Weather Wars 101 has probably the best observational empirical proof of exactly how hurricanes can be fed moisture when they're over land. It's an intentional process, guys. And we got people in Houston that are in the middle of it. None of this had to happen. And so now I'm going to continue with the updates. This was from just before 6 o'clock this evening on the 27th. Still a ton more rain, flooding and tornadoes nearby, but all is actually mostly calm overall, at least where I am. The National Guard and Coast Guard have moved in locally now literally so close where Apaches and CG choppers are flying above. For now, it's only choppers and some APCs in a few spots currently doing rescues. Few big hospitals had to be evacuated. I'm locked down due to flooding myself. About it for now. Just more and more rain. The next update. Thank you. I am truly at a loss for words this evening. The flooding, the rain, tornado warnings, and lack of movement of this entire tropical system is just something I don't know of anyone who has ever experienced before for this length of time that is expected to go on for so long. I've witnessed some old friends have to be rescued by boats in their homes because the floods made it up to five to eight feet. I finally got hit by what I have to assume was a tornado. So now I have a leaking roof through a vent pipe that I know from experience is eventually going to collapse due to loss of structure of the wood. Surveillance footage, I believe, captured the moment of the tornado may end up being weeks before it can be fixed. At least in my area, schools are underwater and canceled for a week or more. 
Many hospitals are underwater, the basements flooded, food supplies limited, and so they are evacuating. All other employees are being brought in by boat or simply locked down at the hospitals if they're there already. All of this is very close to home for me despite being over such a wide area for whatever odd reason in life. It's hitting the places closest to me as that's where even the news is reporting. Just personal notes here, but it'd be okay in my book if it were just to dissipate north, and we'll see. But the computer models again have changed it back and have it going all the way back down into the Gulf sometime near Wednesday, strengthening and then directly turning east and hitting the center of Houston. If this happens, I am actually unsure of my safety at this point, regardless of what I do, as I am surrounded by flooded highways. So there's no traveling to be had, and a ton of bands of rain will make direct hits here again. The highways have generally cleared out when the rain lets up, but it doesn't take much to cover them back up in flood water. And side roads are flooded, so it doesn't do too much good to try to travel out. Toll road frontage roads are all under deep water as of now, rendering the higher altitude toll roads useless because they're not accessible. Both Houston airports are entirely shut down until Wednesday. It just goes on and on with details like this. The lakes near me are all at their banks and can't take much more rain. I haven't even kept up on, kept up much with what the news is saying any longer. I only know what I see and hear firsthand, and it's not good. On a positive note, I don't know anyone personally who has lost power or internet usage, which is how I am still around online when I have time. I should have noted, I can confirm firsthand per my own gauges. I've so far received 28 inches of rain since late Friday, and this is now Sunday. And I'm expected to get 50 inches more total by Thursday or so. Not sure how it's even possible to drain all of that. Also, this is now openly called a 500-year storm, which only technically had a 0.2% chance of happening at all. So there you have it, 0.2% odds. I live in a 500-year floodplain, meaning this shouldn't have happened for something like 400 plus or more years per the engineering of the development of where I live. So that's the most current update that I have from Houston, and once again, I'd like all of you to join me in holding a positive vibration, a high vibration, love, and send it to Houston, and we ask grace to illuminate those hearts and minds that need to be illuminated so that we can all safely unwind this crazy situation. Well, we're all pulling for you, my friend. Grace is pace to you. Stay safe. I love you guys a lot. We'll be back with you soon. Send me an email, lunacy at protonmail.com. L-U-N-A-S-E-E -E at protonmail.com.